All right, here we go. Car wash, Mike. How's it going? All right, car wash again. I want you people to see something. You see this building here? Every week, people come here. They clean and pick up all the needles, all the trash, everything from a sacred building. Although the building has been burned, I understand that. But it's still a place of worship. Those people come here every Sunday and clean this building. And you see those two people over there? There will be 10 or 15 over there at one time, making a wreck and a mockery of something that people use to worship. These people don't get paid. I understand you have a habit. Your habit can't be construct, constructed in another area where people don't have to see this. They ride up down Kane Avenue all day and watching people sticking needles in their necks, letting all kinds of poisons and everything on these people's stairs. Why? Camden is big enough. You started before you got here. You were able to go anywhere else. Now why here? Is it the nice pretty blue steps? Or is it some way of letting God know that you forsake him? Does it have something to do with that street here? This street corner it it, seems it, to be it, busy. It, it has a lot to do with it. But there's a wide open field right here. You can't go on that field. Look at all this abandoned space. Why does it have to be a, a place of worship? What do you know about this street here? I know that there's a lot of low-end people coming up down the street. I know that much. Is that what it is, cheap drugs? I'm, I'm, I'm no better. Don't get it, don't get it messed up. I'm no better. But I can take a few extra steps and move away from someplace that people in their 50s and 60s years old have come here every week to clean. Give them a break. Find someplace else. It's not going to hurt you. You can take a few more steps. I, I, I understand sometimes you really need it right then. Learn a new location and take it from there. It can't hurt. Or at least if they're shooting up there, take their carry it back out. You know, just just don't even leave, they can't leave a mark. They can't even do that. They can't even do that. Take a trash bag with you. Sit a trash can out there and organize. It takes one person per shift of people here. Come on, man. Give it a break. You can't hurt me. How's, Thanks. How's the car wash business? The car wash business is great as long as it doesn't rain. But anytime you need it, you can find me right here. 856-800-8648. Car wash bike. I've been out here since 2006. Come out and support. It's getting kind of cold to be washing cars though, ain't it? It's only cold for the weak of mind. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> if I don't, it's funny you said, if you got I don't Bahamas think about mind? it, no, if I don't think about it, it's fine. But I always have one clown that'll come up and say, oh, your hand's cold. Now I've thought about it. Don't ask me if my hands are cold. And I'll tell you another thing. How about the people who say, Oh, it's too cold for you to wash my car. I'm washing it. What does it matter if it's too cold? I'm cold if I'm starving. I'm cold if I'm dead. So, you know, it, give me a break. It cracks me up in my business, too, because I work almost exclusively outside, and I hear people say, well, you're used to the cold. You I never, ever, old wise tale, you never get used to it. Never. You learn how to block it or, until someone reminds you of it. Or tolerate it. You learn yeah, to tolerate yeah. it. Because here's the lesser of two evils. I have a pile of money like this or a pile of money like that. Cold and, the, and this money or cold and this much. I'd rather have that be cold. You know, I do this every year. I'm like a chipmunk. I'm like a raccoon. Well, you keep washing until the water won't flow, right? Hey, if I can break the ice, your car can be washed. There you go. <laughs> and besides that, just turn the engine on. Let me put my hands under exhaust. It, it does the same thing. Sure. Anything else would you like to know today, sir? No, we're good to go. It's always a pleasure. And keep watching. Because without people watching and helping us out with this, things don't get... They don't get... How can I put it? They don't get observed and understood 
you know, I, I do this out of the kindness of my heart because we need to understand that us down here, we can be up there, but we have to let people know. And you have to show them that you don't want to do stuff like this because they look down on us. I mean, I live in that tent over there, but I stay to myself and I try to maintain the best I can. Guys, give it a break. It can't hurt. Just try it. If it doesn't work, when you see me, smack me. If it works, handshake. Thanks. <clears throat>